okay guys so today we are going to take sample from the heap as you can see first they will remove this 15 centi and after this we will take sample so you can see this is the crusher plant from where you want to get the sample this is a big heap from here we are getting sample So now from the bottom we will take one increment as you can see and this is the sampling bay we will put it here this is the first increment and this is the second increment and this you can see this is the third increment now we selected another location again we have to remove the top 15 centi and then we will go down we will level the trench bottom and we will collect our increments for the sample so he is in the process of removing this uh, surface material you can see this is the heap the crusher plant so now we will take sample from another one as increment you can see this is the increment we can put it in the same bag because we want to collect a representative sample from this whole heap. Uh, this is 10 mm aggregate. Some people are saying 9.5 but this is 10 mm passing aggregate. So in this way we will collect the sample the way we required and we will and this will be considered as 10 mm field sample or bulk sample. Okay, so now you will see we will take sample from the downstream conveyor. As you can see, they just put the bag there and they are taking sample. Okay, so now you will see, we will take sample from the falling down stream. This is the stream for uh, 10 mm aggregate again. And so these two people, they went there. It's a risky job. You have to take care uh, of your hand. So now they will just open the bag and they will just, this full aggregate, they should actually take the full aggregate, but this is just for reference there must not be any aggregate go outside okay so from here now you can see from 0 to 5 mm aggregate conveyor we will take the conveyor belt sample you can see this whole assembly the crusher plant is there the every type of conveyor is there this cone crusher so you will see here these are the different production lines they are getting the different size of aggregate so now these guys they will go there uh, because we don't have any other facility they will just go there and they will take sample from the bag but uh, make sure that uh, you have to take care for your hand this is just for practical purposes we are showing it to you uh, you have to take care for this one because it may damage your hand so now we take sample for this 0 to 5 mm aggregate and you will see this is the field sample the field sample or you can say this is the bulk sample and uh, again you can see the query this is another stock pile of different size of aggregate okay so <coughs> So now what we are going to do, because from the stock pile, this is a huge stock pile, so we cannot take a representative sample. So we ask them just to take material. They will just take from random location. Yeah, we will just take it from random location. Now this is this is the loader. Uh, maybe about three, four. We just need to cover our stock pile. He will put it there and he will prepare a separate stock pile and then from there we have to take our sample he is in the process of preparing this small stockpile now this is from another area as you can see he is taking a sample you will see this one and now he will mix all this material this is a small stockpile he is preparing now he will do the process of mixing you can see this one uh, because the mixing is very important we came to the site for uh, sampling and this sample should be representative of the stockpile so he will sample the, uh, he will mix this material and then at the end we will we have to take sample you can see the process of mixing 
you know he need to fill his bucket and then on the top he need to put it down he already mixed this one and now he will just flat this material and we will take sample you can see again he is mixing still he is busy in the process of mixing you can see it very clear now he will level this one and then from the level surface we will take sample you can see yeah from the top we will take sample in this case we don't need uh, to remove the top 15 cm because just now uh, we prepared this uh, small stock pile so from the top with different location we will take the increments you can see from different location he will take sample you can see this one this is the whole process this is the second increment and uh, this is the third increment we will just fill the bag as per our requirement how much uh, sample we need so we will take it accordingly you can see he's changing locations this is our 3 by 4 or you can see 19 mm 20 mm aggregate size and we are taking this one now you can see we will start sampling if it is not possible then we have to take a pre location from the stock pile so the first thing this uh, should be one third this is the bottom one third we are taking sample you have to insert one or board one plate in the stock pile that no uh, extra material should come from the top side it should uh, there should not be any segregation so we just need representative sample so we just stop the material which are coming from the top we are taking one sample from here then from the middle and then from the one third of the top so this will be our procedure we will follow in this sampling here you can see this is a plate this is a shovel and now they will go up you can see they are going up first they started from the bottom because if they will go up and they will start from there so they will just mix all the material so it's better let them go from the to start it from the bottom the bottom to one third and now in the middle you want to take sample from the middle you can see again they just stop there they insert the plate and from the bottom side from the down side of the plate they are taking sample you can see it here it's a huge stock pile and it's very difficult we don't have the power equipment so we just want to follow this procedure and show you that how we are going the same thing in the side Now you can see they are going from the top one third location. From there they will take sample. There. And now you can see this is their final location. And from their bottom the plate they are taking sample. So this one shovel is one increment. At the end we will mix together all these three samples so this will be the representative for this one phase. The same practice we can do for the other phases. If you want to sample this whole stock file then we have to select three, four or five locations to cover this whole stock file. In a similar way we have to take samples. Because mostly the problem with the, the coarse material are in this way, the segregation. This stock pile is for uh, 20 to 40 mm aggregate. It's very clear for you. Now they will take all this sample. You can see it clear. Now it's finished. So you can see these are the three bags we have collected from the middle, from the top, and from the bottom.